I'm Alexa Balbuena, your RFID specialist here at ENM, and today I'll be covering the fundamentals of RFID. In this video, I'll be going over what it is and how it works, the different types of RFID systems, the frequency ranges and their use cases, and general applications. Let's dive right in. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. Now, this is a type of wireless communication that relies on electromagnetic fields to read data. Now, that sounds like a lot, so here's a quick look on what it looks like in action. Our office uses RFID to regulate access between the parking structure and the building. As you can see here, this RFID reader will only unlock the door if it senses the preset signal frequency is within range. This reader constantly emits a magnetic field. Moving my electrically charged card closer to the reader then induces a variation in that magnetic field. This tells my reader that a tag is within range and responds as needed. Some RFID heads have write capabilities. This allows the user to update tag information during reads. This is most typically used in maintaining product information such as history, condition, and destination. Here are the general steps to a basic RFID system. A communication module or a controller activates the RFID head to send an RF signal. The emitted RF signal at the specified frequency range is then received by the tag. The tag emits a modified signal in response. The RFID head then receives the signal and the processor decodes it. Finally, the controller analyzes and stores the resulting data. The two types of RFID systems are categorized by the tag type used, active versus passive. An active tag RFID has its own power source that is connected to the tag's internal circuitry. This allows the tag to constantly broadcast signals to the reader. The internal power allows for a stronger signal transmission, making it more effective in long-range detection. Passive tag systems are more common in the automation industry. These do not have an internal power supply and rely on the reader to create electromagnetic waves. The waves are then used to induce a current in the tag antenna, thus allowing it to broadcast tag information. This tag type is most effective in shorter distances, typically for inventory tracking in manufacturing and distribution processes. The frequency range of the RFID system is dependent on the system environment and its application. The three ranges available are low frequency, LF, high frequency, HF, and ultra high frequency, UHF. Low frequency RFID covers between 70 to 500 kilohertz. This range is most typically used in short to medium read distances with a limited memory capacity. This frequency range is metal alloy resistant, which makes it the best choice for areas that may have surrounding metal. High frequency RFID occurs at 13.56 MHz. This range has a short to medium read write distance with a faster read write speed. This tag type can also have mid to high memory capacity depending on the model unit used. Ultra-high frequency RFID ranges between 865 to 960 MHz. This type is the most effective for use in long-distance inventory tracking. UHF RFID systems have fast read-write speeds but are typically limited to lower memory capacities. The RFID frequency settings are fully dependent on the surrounding environment or the system application. This can include anything between the amount of information in the tag, the processing speed, the read-write distance between the tag and the reader, or the presence of metal. RFID is most often compared to barcode reading in data storage and processing, but with an increased visibility. Unlike barcodes, RFID tags do not need to be within the line of sight of the reader. This gives the user more flexibility in use. RFID tags can also hold more information than its barcode counterpart. With increased memory storage, a tag can store data on product history, item condition, process status, and other relevant information. RFID systems are most typically applied in product and component tracking, either during manufacturing processes or transport. Operators can more easily track products the moment they enter and leave facilities without having to scan items individually. RFID tags can also be used to monitor equipment status. By storing and tracking history of use, operators can better prepare for just-in-time maintenance of production tools. I hope I was able to give you a better understanding of RFID. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me using the information listed. My name is Alexa Balbuena, your RFID specialist here at ENM.